It is AVL the dog. And we are back. We are back. And today. Today. Diddy was found with a thousand bottles of baby oil. Lube. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. He got arrested. He was in New York. I seen him in New York. I follow a couple of people close to, by him. And he was just chilling in New York. He's, he was being good. He was dapping up people. Just showing love like he always does. I don't know what to believe. Like I said, I'm not here to accuse nobody of nothing. You know, a lot of things get taken out of context. A lot of videos. You don't know what people have done. All you see is one-sided information. But today... We are going to see maybe a little more information that we have been seeing from my guy. Hold on. Penguins himself. Just got to check it out. I'm just a little curious. It says Diddy has finally been arrested. I really want to see like really what's going on here. It's finally happened. So yeah, let, let, let's just see some information people got on Diddy. You know, I believe, you know, you ain't, you ain't guilty until you get that sentence. You ain't guilty. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot, they try to take everybody down these days. So we're going to see why they trying to take this man down. It's finally happening. P. Diddy has been arrested. Anything is possible. This <laughs> is a moment for celebration for so long. First, let's get out the way. Penguins and, and like people like Jamari, man. I'd say they're a bunch of haters. They just like to to go with the crowd. I don't go with the crowd. I'm here to be in between and tell you that I don't know if he's guilty. Yes, there's a lot of information, but we'll see in court. You know what I'm saying? It could all be a lie to just take him down. I don't know. I have nothing against the man. I have. I do not hate nobody. So, let's see. Um. P. Diddy has gotten away with heinous crimes that tons of people knew about. From car bombs to assaults to sex crimes, it's like P. Diddy was going for some kind of high score, trying to catch every possible crime like a Pokemon. He has terrorized the music industry for decades and ruined so many lives. In recent times, the evidence against him to support all the allegations that have existed for decades has been overwhelming and led to a large investigation against P. Diddy and now it looks like we're reaching the climactic finale with him being arrested. When this story broke last night, the indictment was sealed, but this morning they said, open the gates, let them see. To sum it up, he has been charged with sex trafficking by force, transportation. Hold on, let's see what he's been, let's see what's going on. All right. John Diddy Collins has been charged with sex trafficking and all this bullshit. Hold on. Damn. On sealed on Tuesday, federal prosecutor Collins abused, threatened, and forced women and others around them fulfill their sexual desires. I'm not, listen, I'm not gonna lie. I can see him doing some sexual harassment, but I don't know about, like, you know, trafficking and all that stuff, but we'll see. Transportation to engage in prostitution and racketeering conspiracy, alleging he ran an enterprise that engaged in sex trafficking, forced labor, or kidnapping, arson, and other crimes. He abused, threatened, and coerced women and others around him to, to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct from 2008 till now. The allegations mirror 11 civil complaints filed against him since 2023. Damn. Really, that's only the What I don't get is, let's say he did it. But why did you do it, bro? You are rich, rich, like super duper rich to the point where you could almost have any lady you want. And if you wanted to just pay for a girl, there's so many pros out there. You know what I'm talking about? There's so many pros out there. Hope you're not, you know what I'm talking about. I want to say pros like just, you know, if you have that many desires and you can't get enough, maybe you're. An addict, a sex addict. There's other ways to go around it. Like if I was uh, an addict and I had money, I think that's the way I'd go about it. I'm just not gonna front. Like you know what I'm saying? If I was an addict, I'm saying I wouldn't do anything to get who I want. I would just 
go find someone similar, right? Right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just keeping it on. The tip of the iceberg when it comes to the P. Diddy lore, he is a horrible menace that has been around for decades. Also mentioned is that he had thousands of bottles of lube and baby oil that were seized from his home during those raids. Yeah, this was just crazy. I've never, I, I, I don't even have one. This man has a thousand. 1,000 bottles of baby oil. That's a whole lot of ass to put some baby oil on. I'm just gonna say his parties be like that i don't know about his parties like that as part of his freak off supplies he also had tons of narcotics as well so diddy became infamous for his freak off parties that would go on for days where he'd force attendees to not only stay there and perform non-consensual sex acts in front of him but he would just be pumping them full of drugs and he would be watching while furiously masturbating like a coked out goblin so in relation to the drug charges he yeah that's see that's different that is different you like to watch people have intercourse and you just sit there and jerk your little work over there it's kind of weird you know what i mean i never understood that maybe it's a fetish that i'm not a part of like there's a lot of porn to watch you could just do that but maybe it is better when you see it up close and personal i don't know but why not just get involved why not be in it why not just get a girl who likes you and be in it i just can't watch somebody have sex and jerk off i seen like a not just a creep but like i'm pretty sure it feels better to be a part of it no like what he'd allegedly distribute cocaine oxy xanax ghb mdma and ketamine i'm gonna be very brave here for a moment and say that's not alleged that is confirmed the amount of drugs this guy Damn. had here, he was like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, but drugs instead of candy. The amount of freaky shit they found in his house must have been like entering a separate dimension. Thousands of bottles of lube, like so much lube would make Bad Dragon's headquarters jealous. Thousands of bottles of baby <laughs> oil, more than Johnson & Johnson's warehouse probably. That's I crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they found the goddamn death note among those freak off supplies. His legal team seems very optimistic that things are going to go well for P. Diddy. Uh, they even released a statement saying, We are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Hi, Mark. The fuck is wrong with you, man? Are you serious? Like, I understand it's your job. I get that. But holy cannoli, an unjust prosecution, huh? So what if there's overwhelming evidence to support the decades worth of allegations against Mr. Combs here? And so what if there's that video of him brutally beating Cassie in that hotel? He said he's sorry. Did we forget about that? He apologized. Let's all move on from it. Racketeering? You're going to try and come after him for racketeering? Mr. Combs' brain is so rotted from years of drug abuse, he can't even spell racketeering, much less engage in it. This is a load of hooey. It's un what I don't get is that he was in New York to supposedly turn himself in. So it's just like, you know, I don't think he expected to get arrested like that the way he did. Like, I feel like they had enough information to just take take him down or whatever. But like I said, we don't know. We don't really know. It's every word against everybody else's word. Yes, there are some videos that they show the public. But there's other videos they don't show the public. And the thing is about negative information, it travels farther than positive information. That's the one thing I learned. So, like I said, I can't really say anything bad about Diddy until he really goes down for what he for what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Everything is an allegation. You know, besides that guy. Well, first of all, hold on. Besides that guy that he has to pay a hundred million to that supposedly he fondled him a little bit. Yeah, he might have done that one, but that was a little weird. Maybe he's a little bi. You know, I've seen some clips of him and Biggie. I don't know if you've seen the clips of him and Biggie. That was a little weird. We, I'll probably show you guys that after. Unjust. A miscarriage of justice, even. He goes on to glaze him a little bit, sucking on his cock, calling him a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man, proven philanthropist. He then has the gall to say he's imperfect, but not a criminal. And then says he's been nothing but cooperative with this investigation and he voluntarily relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. He really has, though. That's one thing about it. It's not like he was running. He was he's, he's been outside. 
shaking people's hand. It's not like he's running from what has been done. He, he went to turn himself in. So I feel like a person like that, I don't think they've done anything wrong, at least in, in their mind, maybe. We're, we're going to have to see. Maybe he is weird. I don't know. Please reverse your judgment until you have all the facts. These are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide, and he looks forward to clearing his name in court. See, that's the thing, Mark. People have all the facts because there's so much evidence with the facts. There is video evidence to support the facts. <laughs> what do you mean? Again, I know he's just doing his job, but that shit is so shameless. See, that's why I hate people like Penguins and Jamari, because they just roll with the hate. Yes, there's evidence in somewhat context. You know what I'm saying? They give us a fake context of these videos. Yes, he beat Cassie. That is fact. And I don't approve of that at all. At all. But this has to do with trafficking and stuff like that. So I don't know. Yes, he might have beat a girl's ass, which is not right. It's not right at all. You don't do that. You deserve probably time for that. Maybe in a little salt facts. You deserve some time for that. And so you don't do that shit again. But as far as trafficking, I don't know. I just don't. Is he, You think he's an Epstein? If he's an Epstein, he has to go down. Like I said, I'm not here to take anybody's side, but I'm here to be in the middle. Listen, Fowl, I don't know how you sleep at night when you have to defend someone that is obviously guilty like P. Diddy. It's fucking wild to me. P. Diddy, 31 minutes ago. Sean Combs arrested in Manhattan after grand jury indictment. They done caught the diddler. They also had that video drop of him beating the shit out of her recently. And then he released the apology video about it. It's always, like I understand it's their job to defend their clients, but it's always just so crazy. A statement from Mr. Combs' legal team said that they are disappointed with the decision to prosecute him and noted that he had been cooperative with the investigation and had voluntarily relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. Ugh. We're so disappointed that they're actually trying to hold him accountable. Like, we're really upset about that, actually. Yeah, there's overwhelming evidence to all of these awful, awful crimes that he's committed, including that video of him beating the shit out of the... Out of the thing I don't like about Penguins, Penguin, Penguins acts like that he touched him or something, and he's finally getting, getting his fucking justice or something. Calm down, Penguin. This has nothing to do with you, but if he is... If, if this is all right, yes, he needs to go down, but I don't hate nobody. I feel like when Penguins talk, he has this hate for people. I don't... I don't understand that. Dude. You got to be in between, man. You got to be in, be, in, be in between because what if it turns out he's innocent? Then you just look dumb. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to to make no calls on some half information. I don't do that. Uh, uh, Cassie? You like, got to get both sides. Why would you? Like, I thought this was a free country. Why would you try and like punish him for that? I'm assuming the apology video didn't work. We don't know yet. We don't know. Maybe... They'll send the apology video out to the powers that be, and they'll be like, "Wow, he is reformed. This is a good man. We can't, we can't punish him for. He's changed. He has changed so much. Look at this apology video and how sincere it is. We're dropping the charges." I was up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I made no excuses. You okay. No. Love him. I'm doing a lot of things. Okay, but what are you doing? Love him. I'm going to McDonald's. My dad was just in my gear view. So he's picking up my food and her shit. Okay. Oh, wait, I need a tag. Oh, wait, I need a tag. You got money on you? I'm just giving the cars. He's probably obviously paying or something. He's in there. Alright, but babe, let me know when you're here. I thought you were here or something. Alright. Hurry up. Love you. Hurry up. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. 
I take full responsibility mm -hmm. for my actions in that video. Injured in a car accident? Want to see if you qualify for a huge check like this? Don't call insurance. Don't call an attorney. Now, call him. Take, it takes. I'm not gonna show. See, this is why I think. You know what I'm saying? It seems like Diddy, like, he, he apologized for his actions, which is not enough, obviously. She deserves a lot more than that because she was talking about a lot of times that people didn't believe her until a video came out. But it's, it's if I have to say, when Diddy does something wrong, he does apologize. Not saying that if he's accused of trafficking women and doing all this extra stuff, an apology is not on the table. We're talking jail time. We're talking prison time. Because people like that deserve that. Because, you know what I mean? You have so much power in the world. And you used your power for bad. And, and I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I don't know if it's true. I haven't seen no videos of him trafficking women. And women being in and, in and out the house. Look, I, I don't have to see that. It's just word of mouth. And then, I hate... You know what I hate? Like, I hate when... um. People get so big and then all of a sudden, 20 years ago, this guy touched me. What, why didn't you report it 20 years ago? What is the fucking problem? That's why I don't understand. We're not in a third world country. We are not in a third world country. So I do not understand when people say 20 years later, when people are on top, they want to bring them down with a, a, a fake allegation or if they, if they really did. Which I don't get. You waited 20 years to say something. It's just weird to me. I, I, I just had to put that out there. Show any of that. It's brutal. It takes a big man like Puff Daddy to take full responsibility after saying he's going to make no excuses and immediately starting the video with an excuse about hitting fucking rock bottom or whatever. Ah, oh, man. A beacon of strength, really. It took a lot. A lot of courage for that apology video. I respect 50 Cent being a massive hater and selling the documentary Did He Do It? 50 Cent has been, like... Oh, yeah, 50 Cent? Yo, 50 Cent. I think if anybody got some evidence, it's probably 50 Cent. And he sold that documentary. I don't know how much for. It's probably a lot of money. And I actually would like to see it. I've seen, like, a mini documentary on him, on things he's been doing. And probably got Biggie killed on Alive or whatever. But, like, like I said, I feel... It's almost like when people found the Bible. Like, how did they know that was a real story? You get what I mean? I just don't get it. I don't get certain things. Like I said, I'm neutral. I'm in between until you are guilty. And then I'm on the same side as the law. You know what I'm saying? Like, the law said it, man. You were guilty. You trafficked a woman. You did this. You did bad. You were like Epstein. You deserved to go. You deserve not to be here. You have too much power to be in position and use it for bad. That's why I don't like. But like I said, I'm not here to put down Diddy. I do not hate the man. He did never did nothing to me. He didn't touch my butt. Just saying. So, but if he did touch someone else's and multiple people and harass them and traffic them and sold them for money and stuff like that, then you deserve to go down. But like I said, I got no hate in my heart. I do not got no hate in my heart. Uh, if Diddy do it, he deserves jail time. If Diddy didn't do it, he deserves some justice and maybe some money and maybe clear of his name. Because the thing I don't like these days is that they always put allegations on people that could ruin their lives. They ruin sponsorships and stuff like that. But they never come back and say, sorry, the people who are against you say, sorry, get your fucking all your sponsorships back or nothing like that. They just here to ruin your life and not even bring it back to you when they were wrong that's what i don't like about the law that's not that's messed up it should be j just as enough out there as the negative energy you know what i'm saying like he like people be accused of rape and then they found like they never did that or like stuff of like beating women and stuff like that and they found out it's not true because you know what i'm saying people lie too people lie too and that's number one thing like like, we just believe the lies instead of the truth. And then when the truth comes out, we don't care for it. We just stick with the the negative narrative. I don't like that. So, like I always say, it's A.V. of the God. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Did he deserve to go down? Or are you neutral like me? You don't know yet until the real 
evidence is on the table like it will be in court and we'll see you know what i'm saying we'll see what's really going on do they really have a case against him because he was outside of new york he was outside in florida and they ain't pick him up then so i'm a little confused i'm a little confused here i feel like when all these major people get it to the top there is something that's there to take them down on purpose because they're getting too strong in the game but yeah my final thoughts is if diddy did it diddy goes down and the story and that's how i believe but if diddy didn't do it then we need to we need to stop the bullshit. He needs he needs all his shit back, and that's it. Because like I said, I don't hate the man, but you know I won't like the man if this is all true. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. And today, today, we had Diddy, and he's arrested with some lotion, a thousand bottles. <laughs>